Is that one right there? Is that, do I see a mouse? It is a very cold one today, so I'm sure the chickens will not be hanging out outside their run as much as they're used to doing. But right now, they're enjoying their morning breakfast and some water. So last night, I was out here putting them to bed, and as I was walking around, one of the pieces of wood that I have up against to kind of block some of the wind right now for them inside there was knocked down. So I went to go lift it up, and then when I lifted it up, I saw a little critter crawling around, and yes, it was a mouse. Although that mice really aren't a predator to chickens, what they do is they can bring in diseases uh, for your chickens. So that's definitely something you don't want hanging around your coop. So what I need to get done today is just make sure there's no holes around the coop area to make sure that they are protected from having any mice go in there with them. Mice will find homes during these times when it's cold, especially with the chicken food in there, chicken water in there. That's why we make sure that we move the chicken food and water out of the coop every night. It's not even in the run area. To, um, we always thought of that idea to make sure that there's no predators coming in, but there is a mouse hanging around at the coop. I don't know if it's a thing that's gonna be happening. Maybe it was just a coincidence at the time. We gotta make sure that this isn't a home for mice. So right now, just try to make sure all the holes are protected and then maybe I'll take into some other uh, measures if I feel like I see it's a problem. The one thing that's been very nice about living out here is just burning all your trash all the time out here. Obviously we don't burn all of our trash, but a lot of the boxes and the paper and every, all that, that's how we get rid of it. So time for a little bit of a uh, winter fire. I'm not used to having many fires during the winter time, but we've been uh, definitely having them out here. Time to get this coop cleaned out, put some new bedding in there for them, and make sure that we don't have any uh, little critters hanging out with them. Because I don't think they really want any visitors, unless it's us. I want to lock up their run so that I can just kind of clean all that straw and poop out of there. So, a little bit of blueberries for the chicks. While I clean all the chicken poop, Chelsea's gonna have fun and actually play with the chickens. But they're not jumping up to her. All right, who wants to go on a field trip? No play. <laughs> we actually just went to the thrift store yesterday and picked up this rake and I kind of originally looked at it and was like, oh, this would be nice for the girls to kind of help with all the leaves. But then I realized this is gonna be a good chicken poop scratcher to help get all this stuff out, so. Hopefully it works good. Guess this is what happens when you think you got good stuff from the thrift store. It was one dollar. Not worth spent, I guess. Didn't even get to finish one cleaning of the coop. All right, so as I'm doing this, uh, if you want to make sure that there is no mice inside the coop, they said to check areas, obviously in the corners, because that's where they might feel like they get more warmth. And also look for any kind of areas that may have extra feathers of the chickens. Oh, Bailey's barking at the chickens. Uh, also look for any areas with like built up feathers like it almost looks like they foraged them together Because that's another way that they try to build up some warmth So that's what I'm looking for I don't see any signs of it right now at all that why I would think there is any kind of There's been any kind of mice inside there at all. There's a lot of poop So I got to get back to scooping out a little more and put some new stuff in Like I said, it was good news. Uh, I didn't see any signs of why I would think there's mice inside there. You wanna check for any kind of small little poops along the wall, the ceiling, uh, check for feathers and corners and stuff like that. I don't see any reason why there was any in there. So they're happy right now. They're kicking all around in their new straw that I just put in there and they're probably enjoying that and ruining the nice bedding I just gave them. Why do chickens wanna be so messy all the time? Definitely happy for them now that uh, no mice in there, one and two having clean bedding. So that should uh, get them by now for another month too. And by that time, we'll help be starting working on the new coop and hopefully they'll be out of this thing anyway. So, I mean, I wouldn't want to call that my home. 
we're gonna make them something super nice. All right, new straw put in there, but now we gotta get those chicks that were out on the field trip playing with Chelsea, and we gotta get them into the coop. It's been nice to see. We are definitely having about three or four of them that really want to jump up and hang out with us now. Compared to before, after a while when we weren't really seeing them, they weren't jumping up as much. So now that we've kind of built a better relationship and now Chelsea's actually been able to see it, because that field trip's something that I've been working on, but um, it was nice to see that they still jump up for anyone that shows up, because that's what we want. We want chickens that don't mind having the attention and it doesn't matter who it is. Obviously we want them to prefer us, but it's okay. Time to get inside. It is windy and a super cool day if I haven't mentioned that already. So um, a little mouse kind of came running across here on the side. It wasn't actually inside the coop or the run. But then the next day I came out and when I was out I could see the mouse run across my run and out. I don't see any out here right now for you guys at all. But I think they've been staying right here around my gutter area in the corner of our house. And that's kind of where they've made a little home. Right here you can see Bailey has been noticing, I think, or smelling them really bad right here. And here she goes, you can see. She sniffs really hard around the corner, searching for them, seeing if she can find any. All right, good girl, babe. come on. No mice out here right now. I've only really seen them at nighttime more than during the day, but I'm sure they're around here during the day as well. All right, so a few things that you can possibly do though, if you were having a mice problem here or around your chicken coop or in your farm. I'm told they don't really like mint or like lavender type smells. So if you have any kind of those lavender or mint kind of sprays, that would be a little more natural for your chickens or if you have any other animals like we do with our dogs roaming around and you don't want to put down some kind of poison or anything around the area that could hurt your chickens or your animals that you have. Maybe finding some kind of some lavender or mint spray, spray it around your coop area or wherever you think that problem is and that's those smells are supposed to deter them away. Number two, what you can do, and this would be one that would be, I think, a better route to go if you can do it, and we aren't thinking about it at all right now. Let me say that really close and make sure that my wife can hear this too. We are not thinking about this right now. You could get a barn cat and have a cat that lives outdoors. Uh, cats stop rodents all the time and it minimizes the amount of rodents that you have, um, but the problem with them is that they do their own thing. So if they don't feel like they want to get the rodents around the chicken coop area and they roam other places, then you can't control that. So it is a good way though that possibly to slow the rodents around your area. And another idea you can do is your food and water. And I think I've said this earlier, if I didn't, I don't know when I go to edit it, I'll look and check and see. But your food and water inside the coop, don't leave them inside the coop overnight. Take the food and water at nighttime when you lock the chickens up, they don't need the food and water in their coop at night. Take them, put them away, so that there's no food and water around. Mice really look for the shelter with the coop, but along with the food and water, if they can get that as well, that is things that would make them want to stay. So take the food and water out of the coop. And those are some ideas that you can do to get rid of mice if you have that problem. All right, well, thank you guys again for watching. If you like this video or anything that you have to add to these kind of topics, please don't be afraid to comment below for us. And if you want to see more of us, come on, hit the red button right below, subscribe. Time to call it a night. We're gonna get the chickens in, put them to bed, get ready to put myself to bed. See you later.